Hey everyone, it's Marcy Beskar and I wanted to show you a quick little project you could do with your kids or by yourself. And it's something that you can do. You don't have to be an avid stamper to do this. It's, um, we have a bunch of kits in the back of our catalog. So on my blog, marcybeskar.com on the right hand side, you'll see a picture of this catalog. If you click on it, scroll to page 200 and you'll see where the kits start. So you'll get all the supplies that you need to create. It'll tell you what additional things you need if you do need them and what colors we're using if you want to go out of the box and get more paper or whatever. But here are six other kits and I have two of them that I'm going to show to you today. So the first one I'm going to show you is called the Look Up Card Kit. And now I've already created this one. And so this is what you get. You get the envelopes, you get everything. It's going to show you how to create them. You do not need to purchase anything other than the kit. Of course, you need to have your scissors and um, you even get adhesive in these. So I'm gonna show you, you even get a block, clear block. So I'm gonna swing the video up, I hope. Let's see. If it'll let me turn it around, but it doesn't look like it will. So I'm just gonna turn it down in hopes that you can. Sorry, I know you're probably getting motion sickness right now. Okay, I have to look underneath because it won't let me swap the video around, but here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so this one is called Look Up Card Kit. And this is what you get. Okay, I've created my cards already. You're gonna get 12 I think there's 12 yes four different designs oh I think there's five different designs well, there's a lot in this one so let me I'll look at it and see we get I'm going to look over here in the catalog so there's four different card kits in the catalog. Sorry, I said six, but the whole page is the catalogs. And this one you're gonna get 15 cards, three of each. So I'll show you them all. They're all right here, but I'll show them to you close. So you're gonna get all your envelopes. This is what you're going to get, and you get plenty of extras. So let me bring the camera down a little, I mean the light a little better. Hopefully you can see that. So these are like a bronzy and you get these, they're stickers, okay? They're all stickers. These I've used. This, you're gonna get your glue dots. And what you do with these is you're gonna take off the, the little paper you could just scoop the whole thing up, put it on your dark paper, and then just pull this off. And then this is your sticky part, okay? So that you get glue dots. And look at how much extra I have. I'm trying to remember if I made them all, but I think I did. So you get all these extras you can add to cards. You get the block. And I think I'm, I, oh, I think I put my stamp set somewhere. Let me look really quick. I think I pulled the stamp set out to keep all my stamp sets together. My little ones and I don't remember where I put it. Well, that's just silly. Well, the stamp set in this one looks like this. So you get Happy birthday, I hear congratulations are in order, feel better soon. I am so thankful for you and thanks so much. So this is the stamp set that you will get in this. And I think I might have used it on something else and I took it out. So I'm gonna have to find it, but you'll see them on here. And so you can, and it also came with a little ink like this. So you got this ink with it. So that's this. 
And so you'll get the little inks. I tend to keep all my little inks together so that I can use them later on a little project. It's, sometimes it's easier to use the little ink. So we don't sell all of the colors in these. So these are really nice to, to keep and have for travel or whatever. So here they are. You can see the little gold, the little bronzy kind of color there. Here's the envelopes that match with the pattern. Look how cute and simple these are. So there's one. Here's the other one. Again, these just poked right out. It was just like, like paper dolls. You just poke them out and you just foam adhesive them on there. And they probably came with adhesive uh, foam squares in here, which I've already used. And they'll look kind of something like this. These are cut up, but you'll get little foam squares so that you'll get the height and you can pop up your items. But look how cute they are. Nice, they're nice and thick. Nice cards and matching envelopes. I mean, how neat is this to just have on hand? Now, keep in mind, you can always change the sentiments. Uh, just because this says feel better soon and just because this says mahalo. See, on this card, they had um, thankful for you. I had a stamp that said mahalo, so I chose this one because I'm going to be doing a Hawaiian event coming up and I wanted to do that. So you can put your own sentiments on it or you can use what they have. Or if you need more birthday ones, then you do feel better soon. You could change them up and make them all birthday if you wanted or make them all feel better soon or whatever you want. I used one of these already. Why? I, that's why I only have two. I thought it was such a cute card. Um, I sent it to... Um, a guy for his birthday. And then here is another one. Again, the stripes match. I love this little, I, I think it looks like a ladder or a film strip. It just adds so much to the card. Again, super easy. Pop this up. These There's already a picture of a plane on the card. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. But you just pop up another one. Again, it's like paper dolls. These, all these are. You stamp on here and See, I made two different ones. You can So you can use the sentiment, I'm gonna use more birthday than not. So I chose to do birthday, but I did stick a congratulations in there in case I needed one. So those are fun. And then look how cute these are. This again has little trees that you can pop out and put on there. A strip of paper right here, it's already looks like a strip. It's attached to the card so that you can put your embellishments on top. This embellishment here again is from the strips in the back, which has this diamond type shape. And then I think so much there. And who doesn't need thank you cards and look, matching envelopes. So that's the first step. I just, I love the colors. I love the black bold with the stripes and all that. And then that's this box, and then you can just put them away. You could also write on the edge and say, um, thank you, congratulations, birthday, whatever, so you know what you put in here. Or you can choose not to assemble it until you need it. That way, it's ready to go, and you can just pop your sentiment on and be done. So that's that one. Okay, so this one is called Notes of Kindness. Oh, let me back up. The other one, only $27. So right here you can see, $27. And you get 15 cards, three of each, of five designs. And it tells you down here the, the basic colors. So let's say with all the extra stuff you have, you kind of want to redo something with the same colors. You can buy the Bermuda Bay cardstock, which is the, this greenish color. And, or you can buy... Granny Apple Green or Lovely Lipstick because those are the colors in this set. So that just gives you an idea to use the extra stuff. Now the next one is Notes of Kindness, which is this one here. I thought this one was really pretty. You get an idea over here of all the things that you have. This is the stamp set. You're so kind, thanks, thank you. Really cute. Right now, who doesn't need a thank you card, right? So let me show you that. This one is $35. So here's the stamp set. This is kind of how the stamp sets come. Let me get a white underneath it. Here's the foam squares I told you about. 
So there's the stamp set there. This is like an ink mark, kind of like the envelope. The leaves. These look like little four petal flowers. So this is a really great stamp set. Okay, so as you see, you're gonna get some pearls. Some, a lot of envelopes, because this one's gonna have 20 cards, five each, four designs. So they're all the same envelope. Here is the, I'm gonna put that there. Here is the punch that I told you about. So super easy, just like that. You're gonna get the directions out. And so here are the directions, tells you exactly what to do. And it's in different languages. This is only your directions. This is what's included right here. And then this just kind of shows you how to do it. Super simple. We are, um, looks like we have Dutch, French, and Japanese. We do um, deliver all over. So this will give you some idea. Okay, you can also always go on YouTube and find videos. All right, so you get pages of this. So you'll get a lot of those. I already said your stamp set and your dimensionals. Look how pretty this ribbon is. It's like a rope. It's like a, a copper twine. You're going to get your black ink, which everybody needs black, so that's nice. Again, a block. So if you don't have a block, now just so you know, the Stamping Up blocks come with rounded edges. Okay, they're a little bit bigger, a little easier to hold on to. So if you're gonna be doing this a lot, um, the D block is my first block I would recommend that you, that you get. And what you do with this, just for you that are new, I know I have a lot of new people. So you just pull off the soft part of the plastic. This one's a little more like an acetate, it's thicker. And you just take your stamp and you lay it on there. And it doesn't have to be straight, but straight's nice. But you can, then you take your ink to your stamp and then you can see through and stamp where you want it. So that's what this is. Now, like I said, this, they, they give these to you in your kit and they work perfectly fine. So just so you know, but if you see the difference with me using something else on videos, that's why. They put these in with the kits. So you're gonna get your ink. Now look at these. Oh, you have more of these. I put those aside over here. I put those all together. And now these are stickers. So here are your words. So you don't need to use your thank you stamp if you don't want to. You have your stickers right here, okay? So you just pull those off and stick them on. So it looks like here, they used a sticker here, a stamp, a stamp, and probably a stamp here. These are all stamps, but they did a nice big sticker for you. So there are those. So look how much you get. Now here's the cards, which I just love their cards. You get, what did I say? Five each of four designs. So you're gonna get the leaves. You're gonna get the watermark. Make sure you can see this, I'm kinda. All right, you're gonna get the, ooh, I love this. You're gonna get this cute pinstripe. and then you're gonna get this leaf here. All right, so that's your four different cards, so we're adding to our pile. And now, at the bottom, you're gonna get more of your paper punch outs. So it looks like this is what you're gonna be doing your sentiments on here. And this is what I was talking about in the other one with the round ones. Again, they're just, they just pop right out. So they'll show you which one to get, 
and they'll just pop right out. So it looks like a square one here with this is kind of what the card is that we're looking at. You're gonna use, so I'm looking at this one here. So you're gonna use the square that you're gonna stamp on, your flowers. You're gonna use one of these, which is your banners. Oh, and they're sticky. So they're, you don't have to glue those down. So I'm not gonna pull that off right now. But you just put that like that. You type your sentiment on. You, I mean, you uh, stamp it on there. And then you, it looks like you added a little bit of that um, copper twine, which is right here. And you grab your striped card, which is right here. And then you would just put it on. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pop this up. I'm just gonna put this on. So I'm gonna move this out. I'm just gonna create this one really quick. And I'm just gonna put it right about, just eyeball it where you want it. I'm gonna put it there. I'm going to use this and this and some of this. So I'm gonna use the twine. And I'll show you how I like to do my twine when we're ready for that. Let me stamp the sentiment. And I'm going to use, um, let me use this. I'll use this little black. Okay. Let me get my stamp out. Hello. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the block that it came in. No, I actually not because I usually like to give those away. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And I'll use one of mine. All right, so. I'm just gonna take this. Hoping I'm in camera still, I'm trying to look under. Apparently when you're on a video, you can't swap your, or I couldn't, it wouldn't let me switch my camera, which is fine. Okay, you wanna ink it up really good. You don't need to squish it in. You just want to make sure it's super inky. All right. And I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna kinda of be over, it looks like. I just hold it for a minute. Just You just wanna make sure that the ink really absorbs into the paper. You don't need to rock it for sure. You don't wanna do that. Okay, little pieces of paper you usually pick up with that. Look how cute that is. All right, let me clean that off. And you don't have to go get stamp cleaner and all that. Um, I do have it and I do use it, but you could just use um, baby wipes. I recommend the Costco baby wipes because they don't have a lint all over on them. If you buy the cheap ones from the dollar store, or even some of the more expensive ones from, and the, the black on here is very normal, so don't worry about that. Um, even the more expensive ones like Huggies and all that kind of stuff, it's, they still leave lint. I have found the Costco ones to be the best. So... I'm just going to put that back in here. And now it looks like they, and I don't, you don't have to read, look at the directions, but I'm going to look at it. And it looks like they popped up both just by my looking at that. So I'm going to take some foam squares that I have here. Let's see. I have a lot of foam squares. Let me find what I want. Okay. And I'm just going to add, you don't need to add a lot. Some people go crazy overboard with foam squares and you do not need to. Okay, so I'm gonna use those. Now 
So let's say you're just in a hurry. You need to do a quick card. I'm just, I want the pink to kind of show, so I'm going to move that. It does not have to be exactly square. Absolutely does not. You're going to cover that up with this anyway. Now, I would recommend this be straight. Um, but it does not have to be perfect. And I'm going to put one in the middle. I don't always, but because this is the second layer up on top of another layer, I'm going to. I really like this set. Now, our new catalog's coming out, and there is some really cute sets in there. Right now, there's one on our clearance rack, actually, that I just purchased. So I'll be doing a video with that, but hopefully, if they haven't sold out, I will. But it is called Everything Rosy or something like that, and oh my gosh. It was an $88 kit, so that tells you how much stuff was in it. And it's on sale for $44. So that's on the clearance rack. So if you want to check that out, um, we could craft together and um, do it together. So if you get it, let me know. Look how cute that is. Oh, I forgot the twine. So that's okay. So what I'm going to do, done that before. So you could carefully try to take the this off. If you if you just haven't pushed it super, super hard, you could, okay? There you go. Now what I'm gonna do, and if I hadn't been able to take it off, I would have just uh, put some glue and then just kind of pushed it under there. So that's not a big deal at all. Trust me, crafting, Mistakes, no such thing. Okay, so I like to do three loops, just kind of like that. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to put the glue dots. It's like those other little glue dots they gave us, but I have it in a big roll, so I'm gonna use these. Sometimes I like to take the supplies out of my kits and I do giveaways and classes or I create kits and those are much easier to add for people so all right and you may not see it all and that's okay the whole point you can just see a little bit there it just depends on how much you want and I'm gonna change my mind and I'm gonna put this out this way and stick it because I want it to stick out some yeah I'm gonna change my mind a little bit I do want it to stick out a little farther than it does so I'm just gonna do like this. I decided that I want a little bit everywhere to show. And like I said, it's all preference. It's all what you want. Okay, I'm noticing my little square there. Once you lay this down, just line it up. Just kind of lay it there. Straighten it to where you want it. And that's where I want it. And there you go. Look how cute that is. Cute little card that you're sending. And you've got these cute little envelopes to put it in. I don't see that they put pearls on this one, but look how cute. You could just add little pearls. These are teeny tiny ones. I think I have pearls open somewhere. I'm sure I do. I just don't know where. But you could open up the pearls and add just a couple. And I'm going to show you what I like to do. Instead of trying to opening them out, pull them out, I always just do this. And I slide just a slit on the side. It's just easier for me because then you can just pull them out a tiny bit, get the ones you want. And I'm just gonna put three, because three is a nice number. Odd numbers are always good. And there we go. There we go. Cute little card, nice and simple. There's your envelope, ready to send. How cute is that? All right, let's see if I can take it down without getting you sick. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Well, I hope that that was a little bit of an idea of some cute, really cute, simple, fast kits. They really are simple. You just poke these out, add them to your card, and you are ready to go. So I just wanted to show you. It's a great idea to send to somebody. It's a Mother's Day. I know that's kind of close, but um, I get my stuff from Stamping Up three, four days. Um, it just depends, but especially if you're in my area, it's pretty quick. But um, these are a great idea to have on hand. I mean, there's so many times you just want to do a little card and it's not a bad idea to go back to sending cards, sending notes, thinking of you, especially right now when you're not able to see people like you want, like your hairdresser or your nail lady. I'm a mess, but that's okay. Everybody is. So um, send a card. Just say hi. Just say hi to somebody. It doesn't have to be their birthday or Mother's Day or anything like that. Just send them a card saying thinking of you. And um, don't you love getting mail? I'm sure that they would too. So um, just wanted to share those with you. Again, on the clearance, there's one called, I think it's Just Rosie or... Um, I think it's just rosy or posy or something. I don't know. It's but it's forty four dollars normally eighty eight, and you get a ton of stuff. So I just ordered it. I can't wait to share it with you. Hopefully it won't sell out um, before I get a chance to share it, um, so you can see what's all in it. And um, that's all I have for today. I will be doing some more videos, but I really wanted to share that with my um, non stamping friends in case you wanted to pull up some crafty crafty goodness going on and get something out to some friends some little notes and you don't even have to leave your house all right have a great day you guys again my website marcybesker.com um excuse me marcybesker yes.com and on facebook Marcy Besker designs and you can see current projects and specials and different things coming up um, locally i do classes and different things like that so if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me thanks a lot and have a great day